Welcome to another Business Tech Planet video. Today, we'll show you how to make a backup button in your worksheet. If you're using Excel on your desktop, and you want to make frequent backups, you could try integrating a backup button into your worksheet. To do that, we need to enable the Developer tab. In Windows, head up to File. Then go down to Options in the left menu. In Options, click Customize Ribbon. Then head across, and check the box next to Developer. Finally, hit OK at the bottom, and you should see the Developer tab. Clicking the Developer tab will give you access to additional features, such as buttons and VBA. If you're using a Mac, head up and click Excel in the top left. Then select Preferences from the drop-down. Now select Ribbon and Toolbar in the dialog box. Scroll down the list on the right. Check the box next to Developer, and then hit Save at the bottom. Finally, close the Preferences dialog box, and you'll see the Developer tab at the top. Click the Developer tab. Then head across and select Visual Basic. When Visual Basic opens, double-click the sheet that you're working on, and the code editor will open. Check the video description for the VBA code. Copy it, then return to Visual Basic, and paste the code into the editor. You can now close VBA. Next, we need to add a backup button. To do that, Stay in the Developer tab, and click Button. Then click anywhere on the sheet. Now choose the macro we just made. And finally, hit OK. To change the macro, you can right-click the button, and select Assign Macro. But now, all we need to do is double-click the button, and change the text. We'll change the text to Backup. With everything set up correctly, we can now make a backup of our sheet, which is currently named Original. Click the button, and it should create a copy of your sheet, which will be renamed to include the backup date and time. The only potential issue is if you're using a long name for your sheet. In that case, appending the date will make the name exceed the maximum number of characters. Your sheet will still be copied, but the renaming won't be applied. That's all for this video. If you found it helpful, why not buy us a coffee? We'd really appreciate it, and you'll be helping us grow the channel. Thanks for watching. Remember to check the description for additional resources. And don't forget to subscribe for more Microsoft videos.